Hello, and welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to talk about opening your mind to new possibilities. Mind is a very important tool in finding your way and understanding your purpose in life. This is why that mind must be understood in all layers, whether it's the conscious or the unconscious. It is the unconscious mind that directs the course of your intent. It is the programming that is running behind everything else that you do in life. All the secondary considerations, like the small choices that you make in life, are often conscious ones. Those are little things that are, in effect, only transitory. That means they hold little value in the whole purpose in which you have embarked on. It is for this reason I always tell my students, my clients, that success in life begins the moment we harness the power our unconscious mind. See, our unconscious mind is designed to direct us towards the installed belief systems in our psyche. These are often thought to us through our upbringing, our religious beliefs, our social views, our political views, our relationship with others, especially the opposite sex or your partner, whether if you are the same sex. And that also extends to other relationships, like your business relationships, and how you deal with others, your whole point of view about life. See, the whole understanding that our lives are dictated by circumstances is a false narrative. It is a narrative that we are assumed to be included in, when in fact your circumstances are only opportunities for you to shape your beliefs, your direction, your purpose in life. There are tools from which you can mold and shape your reality. Whether you want to experience life as a wealthy, successful individual, or one that is cash-strapped, is in difficulties. This is why your unconscious programming now must be analyzed, must be understood, and must be harnessed to its full potential. All the negative structures that have been installed through your childhood all the way into your adulthood must be restructured, reprogrammed, so that you are able to see things for what they are, whether they are purposefully sabotaging you from success. It is also important to understand how they impact your life, your life decisions in general. In order to do this, we have to open our minds, and that's why we are here today to begin that session, that process through which we are going to be able to take a deeper look and get a bigger and more profound understanding of how we operate in the unconscious level now. Now, I'd like you to take a reclining position, preferably one that is like in a soft sofa with your arms unfolded, with your arms and legs resting comfortably in a strong position that is one that is going to be comfortable for a period of at least 30 minutes during which you will be experiencing a profound change a life-altering change that comes in incremental steps steps that will help you to see that your full potential is not limited by the choices that you make at your current moment by your conscious mind, but is dictated 
by the unconscious and you have the power to harness that change, that power to guide your unconscious mind in the direction you wish to live your life. Now, I would like you to take a deep breath and close your eyes. As you take this deep breath in, let it come out of your nose as you exhale, softly, gently, letting it just drift, just softly enough to let your mind relax. And as you relax, you will notice your breathing also relaxes. It is the first process that we engage in letting go. Because when you are attached to things, those are things when we begin to unravel things that are structured. This is why sleeping is a very important process. We unravel things, we take them apart, put them back together in an understandable manner, in a manner that makes sense, in a manner that our unconscious mind can process. This is why when you do repetitive tasks throughout the day, you might also experience them in your sleep, that you may be doing it again and again as your unconscious mind works through those processes to make sense of it, to make you more capable of doing those things again and again in the future with more skill, more capabilities. Now, as you concentrate in your thoughts, let them drift, because thoughts like waves at the seashore come and go, and each wave that hits the shoreline changes its shape, its form, and as it rescinds back to where it came from, new thoughts are going to come forth. Those are thoughts that will just fade away, letting you to relax further and further in a state of unconscious relaxation. Unconscious in the sense that you are hearing these words listening to them, yet your unconscious mind understands them in a more profound way, in a way that makes sense, that you know that when you are about to fall asleep, you are in a state of transition, where your unconscious mind is suspended and taken out of the equation, your unconscious mind knows how it falls asleep and allows your body to rest. Your unconscious mind also hears the words and thoughts that go through your mind as you hear these words. Your unconsciousness expands to take a hold of your body in which you are relaxed. Your breathing is slow and shallow your muscles tend to become limped, limp like wet rags, just resting, drifting soft. This is the reason why the process of sleep is so restful, so relaxing, because you, in one sense, is letting go and letting your unconscious mind guide you through this journey in which you are restoratively abundant to find ways and manners and methods in which to operate in life with greater skill and capability. That's why it's said, as you grow older and become more wise, you understand the ways of the world better. You are more prudent to make decisions. You are more calm restful, that you understand that life is consisting of choices, choices that you can alter and change, choices that you can alter and change, those choices that you have very little control over, 
choices like who's the president, who's the governor, who is doing what in the another part of the world. Those things are not your concerns. They are just the circumstances that exist so that you can make the opportunities come your way. And seeing those opportunities is where the opportunities turn into success. Success is noticing what is there, what has been the fundamental lying principle that wealth and success all are intertwined by the very nature that opportunities are merely tools like a blacksmith's hammer pounding away making shape of what is there creating a new outcome an outcome that is desirable an outcome that makes sense and as you go through your days you become more and more prudent knowing that your open-mindedness is leading you to see opportunities far and wide deeper and deeper this is why your job as a human being is to take your time to examine opportunities to see what it is there for especially when circumstances don't seem very real they seem to be utterly difficult that is when you must open your mind to the possibility that that particular circumstance is designed to let you find new ways let me tell you the story of one of the first successful african american woman who became a millionaire she created a brand through selling hair products and how it came about was a situational circumstance where she was forced to look beyond her immediate circumstances of being a house cleaner a menial worker to one that sees that people of all generations have the ability to make their own future to mold it to shape it in the manner that they see fit and if that requires changing a different path taking a different road seeing things for what they are and realizing that even though you may not change what the circumstances are you can take your challenges and make a new way for you to become a success and that requires an open mindedness if you are finding yourself getting angry to things that are beyond your control then you are actually crippling yourself because you are not allowing yourself to see the opportunities that are out there this is why at this time it is important to realize that you are on a journey a journey in which you are tested tested in the form that circumstances are going to put you in the same pack as those who feel that their comfort zone is sufficiently good for them to go on with life and then there are those who are going to find themselves testing those boundaries where the comfort zone is no longer pleasant that they are jolted out of that comfort zone to a new reality and this often happens when people change countries change jobs change relationships that they are often struck with unfortunate events that lets them embark on a new journey sometimes that new journey is the kindling fire that is needed 
to create the impetus for future growth as a human being, as a person who is seeking a new path. Because the comfort that we often feel so happy to be basking in is the very nature of slavery. Slavery to the idea that we must be content to what we have. We must be that person that conforms when in fact all success, all achievements come from trying what is not in the comfort zone. It is finding that you have to take the path and see that new opportunities lie beyond your comfort zone. This is why open-mindedness is so important. Opening your mind to new possibilities. And you don't have to do this consciously by asking your mind, your unconscious mind now. You can change your mind's programming programming that has been instilled in you since the day you were born, you can shift and change that path, that course that will lead you to find opportunities, opportunities now that can only be seen with the unconsciousness that exists because we are constantly bombarded with information. Information pulling our attention one way or another. Yet our unconscious mind hears all, listens to all, and is able to assess things just in the way that a computer program can run in multiple programs at the same time. A computer can do multitasking just as your mind can because your mind is a very versatile tool. It has the ability now, as you drift deeper and deeper, in a state of relaxation, let go of all the things, let go of your breathing, let it go shallower and deeper, like a sinking stone in a pond that has left the ripples going wider and wider as it's opening its doorways to new opportunities, to new insights, to new found freedoms. And as you drift down, realize that you are going to be asleep soon and your unconscious mind is going to help with the programming that is going to switch switch to a system of seeing the possibilities, the opportunities. Only then would you need the ambition, the desire, the urge to take those opportunities and mold it into success. Yes, surely there are going to be moments when fear will be attached. And fear is certainly there when uncertainty is clear. Uncertain that some outcome is possibly in the works that may be undesirable, yet the possibility of an outcome that is related to success is also present. And choosing the path, having the wisdom to know that you are safe, that you can take those actions that lead you to success because your unconscious mind is your ally leading you down the path of least resistance, allowing you to grasp the fundamental thing that all life is an exploration of yourself, of your abilities, that you are born to be the highest expression of who you are. Now as you go deeper and deeper, let go allowing your fingers, your palms, to build up this energy of relaxation. Let your arms become more limp, your muscles all relax, your breathing more shallow than ever. 
like a baby's breath, let the air move in and out of your lungs as you drift down further and further and allowing your legs to become dead weights, just resting comfortably, just letting it go. And as your feet become more and more heavy, letting you become more and more tuned to the sensations of someone who is falling asleep deeper and deeper. You allow your unconscious mind to take over the processes now. As we bring this session to a close, remember that you are your best friend and also that your unconscious mind is there to guide you. Thank you for listening. Please remember to listen to our other videos or visit our website for a full download of this recording. Thank you.